Okay, so we're going to do another balancing example now. So I'm going to start by balancing for carbon. On the left, I have five carbons. On the right, I have one. So I'm going to place a coefficient of five in front of my carbon dioxide to bring the carbons into balance. On the left, I have 12 hydrogens. On the right, I have two. So I'm going to put a coefficient of six in order to bring my hydrogens into balance. For my oxygens, I have two on the left, and then on the right, I've got five times two, and then I've got six, another six. So that's going to give me 16 oxygens. So to get two up to 16, I will be multiplying by eight, and I will need an eight there. Now, this is a balance without any further steps, and all of the coefficients are their smallest possible whole number values, so I am done.